Oh my gosh! You guys have to try these. I'll take it in. This is the before. Hey everyone, it's me Yana. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today, well actually this weekend, I decided to vlog because it's been a minute since I made a weekend in my life. And it is a Friday and I have a lot of things going on today. So first things first, it's 8.40. I'm about to leave here in a little bit. I have a waxing appointment at 9.00. I think I want to get Starbucks after, you know, to treat myself. I was going to go on a walk, but it looks like it's going to rain for most of the day. So we'll see about that. But, and then at 1.30, I'm getting my hair done, which I'm so excited. I can't wait to, like, see it. I'm getting it cut and, um colored and I haven't had a color in my hair since I was 16 so um yeah it's gonna be exciting I will show you guys throughout the video I'm so excited new hair new me yes and my hair really needs to get cut I haven't gotten a haircut for like a year and my split ends are just atrocious to even look at and yeah so I have that planned and then I'm going to see my boyfriend tonight and tomorrow is going to be, I've decided, a full-on self-care day. I want to work out, I want to go for a walk if it's nice tomorrow, play outside with my dog, spend time outside, read some books, do what makes me feel good. I want to stop by the store at some point and get avocados because... I really want to try like this breakfast like toast that everyone's been using lately and I need avocados for it so I want to get that and I want to like clean up my room like wipe everything down um, things like that and then order some good food tomorrow watch TV just have like a full-on self-care moment so it's a self-care weekend and then Sunday is mine and my boyfriend's four-year anniversary so we're going to be celebrating that and that'll be fun so yeah a lot of fun things for this weekend but yeah I'm so excited to get my hair done guys but um I should leave here in a little bit for my wax appointment and then I'll catch up with you guys later and I need to figure out what I want from Starbucks so just got into starbucks i got a bacon gouda sandwich haven't gotten this in so long but i'm so excited and then i got a drink and what i got is my first time trying a dirty chai so i got a grande iced chai with not fat milk vanilla sweet cold foam and i did two pumps of chai instead of four so let's try it Oh my gosh, I'm going to cry. Wow, that is so good. Highly recommend. I wanted to get soy milk because I usually get soy milk, but they were out. This literally tastes like Christmas in a cup. So good. Probably my new go-to drink. Love it bomb so i'm gonna go home sip my chai eat my sandwich watch youtube videos on the couch with my dog life is good y'all life is so so good and then i gotta like wash the dishes and like clean up around the house a little bit and my room and stuff and then i will get ready to get my hair done like i'm so excited today's just like such a good day like 
positive vibes only no negativity we're just having a blast y'all I just did my makeup I changed my top because it's getting warmer outside but I am about to leave to get my hair done I'm so nervous I don't know why I always get nervous but I really hope it turns out good I mean hopefully it does but yeah I'm gonna get my hair done and it's exciting I've been listening to gals on the go and yeah I also when I get back I want to like I did my makeup because I feel like when you get your hair done it looks better when you have your makeup done except my foundation's a little dark for me right now but we'll just we'll just ignore it you know it's fine but I'm trying to like pick out an outfit too so I can take like pictures or just so that like I don't know I feel more put together because this is just like a chill at home outfit you know but I was thinking of wearing these um mom jeans and then this cute little um top that tube top that I got from Target I feel like pairing those with my white air force ones and then a bag and like some jewelry I don't know I feel like that would be cute so we shall see guys I'm so excited but I'm so nervous I literally have to leave right now and I'm like ah, I'm excited but I will keep you updated so I'll see you in the car. Okay guys, I have five minutes before I have to go in for my appointment. Having a little snack. Oh, someone almost crashed. A little snack because I forgot how long hair appointments are. It's like two hours, maybe more. So I'm having a little snack because I'm going to starve. So yeah. But... It's raining, which is great. But you know, it's like a cozy vibe. But yeah, so here's the before of my hair. Dark brown, lots of split ends. So, yeah, take it in. This is the before. And this is the after. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm obsessed with my hair like what the heck i wish i could show you guys the back but did some caramel foils oh my gosh it is just so pretty i'm obsessed loved it that took so long it took like three hours but it is so worth it like i'm obsessed oh, i'm out of breath i changed into the outfit i planned on wearing earlier so I don't know I'm like super bloated right now but yes the fit ignore my dog's mess I'm obsessed with my hair you guys she did such a great job but now I'm just gonna wait until my boyfriend comes and then we're gonna drive around get some food and maybe do some shopping but we'll see but I'm so happy guys this is your sign to get your hair did. Good morning, everyone. I look rough, the lighting is horrible, but I am making breakfast. I toasted a bagel, but now, or half of a bagel, and now I want a toaster strudel, so we're gonna do that. But I have my double shot of coffee. So we have that. And then we don't have almond milk, so I'm just using low fat milk. So I'm just gonna pour. 
pour that in there just like that and then guys pause this video go to walmart and get yourself this butter cookie creamer it's like a dollar 78 or something like that it is so so good so just put a little splash of that in there yeah, maybe a little more now we're gonna taste test it guys i still can't get over my hair like what stir that up Mwah. so good actually i'm gonna add a little more because screw it but i'm almost out of this which is really sad today's like a treat yourself day so we're having a cinnamon toast crunch toaster strudel because that's just what sounds good you know i have been on this journey of like intuitive eating and listening to my body and stuff and exercising a little bit every day whether that's going on a walk or doing like these workout videos that i love doing honestly i just make sure that i get fruits and vegetables in every day um so yeah which i don't have any fruit well i have a banana i might have a banana as a snack later but i like to drink my greens and i know that greens aren't like a substitute for like actual vegetables but i like to do that i like just incorporating more healthier foods and things like that in my diet and trying to be balanced but if i want a toaster strudel or a bagel for breakfast like i'm gonna eat whatever i want and what feels good it's not about restricting or taking things away like carbs or whatever it's about like adding in vegetables and fruits and physical activity and honestly that is what makes me happy and dieting never works like no it just never works and i'm at a healthy like point in my life like i'm at a healthy way everything's great i just want to feel better and i didn't realize how powerful like nutrition is for your not just your body but your brain and your mental health too so i just want to make sure that i'm adding in nutrients and things like that but i'm not gonna deprive myself of any food because every like no no and you know to, today for lunch because i'm like what should i get like to treat myself since it's like the weekend and i'm like thinking i might get like olive garden or something because their salads are so good and they're alfredo with bread sticks. oh my gosh it sounds amazing so I'll probably get that, but I also need to go to the grocery store and pick up. I'm really craving watermelon. And I need avocados because I want to make that breakfast toast tomorrow. So, yeah. And always drinking my water. My toaster strudel is ready, so let's eat some breakfast. Obviously, guys, pour in your can. I can't believe I'm having... Wait, this has to be a different cup size than the other one, right? I had my breakfast. I'm feeling great. Sipping my water. I'm about to go out for a walk, but before I do that, I'm gonna play outside with my dog for a little bit. Um, my dog has really bad separation anxiety, so anytime I leave the house, I like to make sure that he is exercised and pooped out so that he can just chill, but yeah, I'm gonna go to that. I might run to Target because I have to pick up a prescription at the CVS pharmacy inside. And I do need to go to the grocery store for a couple of things. But we'll see. I might go later with my boyfriend. I don't know. Or I might just go tomorrow. It's not like urgent stuff. I just want... Well, no, I wanted those avocados. Like, I need to find avocados. But it's 11 o'clock, so I'm gonna go. And then when I get back, I'll probably order some lunch and pick that up. And just watch. Oh, oh, after I go for a walk, I also really need to take a shower. I'm just gonna do a body shower and shave and all that jazz because 
I am so lazy when it comes to shaving, but um, tomorrow is my boyfriend and I's anniversary and I'm wearing this cute like simple dress, but I need to do that and then I might self tan because I haven't self tanned in a while, so it's just such a self care weekend, but yes, I'm so excited to go on this walk and get some fresh air, I'll probably listen to a podcast on my walk, and it is just a beautiful weather outside right now so i want to take advantage of it before it starts raining again so we're gonna go do that but gotta take the pupper outside so let's go do that good boy I just went on my walk it was lovely there was this old sweet little old lady that walked by me and said good morning and it made me feel so special I'm at Target right now it's pretty packed I gotta pick up my prescription and I decided to just get um, the groceries I needed here because I'm already here so yeah so hopefully they have everything usually Target doesn't have the best avocados but you know we'll find We'll figure it out. I'm gonna pick up my prescription, pick up the few things I need, and uh, probably head back home, shower, order food if I'm hungry by then. What else do I need to do? I feel like I need to do some stuff, but I don't know, focusing on relaxing. And these past few days, I've had like kind of bad mental health days but like doing the things that truly allow me to take care of myself like being active comforting myself um taking care of myself getting things done like getting my hair done and just the little things really help to give me a good mood put me in a good mood and um, taking care of my dog and snuggling with my dog and I don't know just being outside in the sunshine and being among people even if I'm not like hanging out with people but just being in the presence of people um, listening to my favorite podcasts I don't know reading the bible and devotions and everything like talking to a friend and I don't know it's just there's so many things so many I think the term that I'm looking for is called resourcing which um, in therapy resourcing is basically when you are struggling with a mental illness and you're going through a hard period using your resources to kind of help with that and not that doing all these things is gonna take away your mental illness but it can help you and even if it might not help you and you still feel gross at this moment in time it builds you better prepared for when you go into another depressive episode or anxious episode or whatever it is and so there's like physical resourcing like going on a walk yoga deep breaths um holding ice if you're anxious at um uh, whatever that may be taking a shower and then there's like social resourcing like who are my people family that I go to and then like mental resourcing like writing down your thoughts focusing on your thoughts and um, yeah so there's a lot of there's also like spiritual resourcing and all these different things so I want to do this at some point but I want to journal like all sections of my life and write like different resources because I feel like that's super helpful so if you guys are struggling or even if you don't struggle with mental illness but you just have a bad day like I just want to encourage you that um, you won't feel like this forever and 
just take care of yourself give yourself love compassion because there are times when i'm anxious or depressed and i get mad at myself i'm like why do you feel this way you have everything like there's no reason to be afraid of this or there's no reason to and that's not helpful at all like show yourself love be like i am talk to yourself as you would a best friend be like i'm sorry you're going through this this sucks your feelings are valid I love you, I'm gonna take care of you. Like, speak that over yourself. I think that's really important. But that was a really deep conversation. Like, I feel like whenever I'm in the car, I just get deep. But I'm gonna go to Target and yeah, I'll catch you guys. All right, I'm back from Target, quick mini haul. Picked up my prescription, got some zero sugar root beer. This was the last one. I was so happy I got it. I have been craving this. I really wanted like blueberry muffins for breakfast in like the bakery, but they didn't have any. So I just got this Kodiak cake protein muffin cup, which you guys have to try these. They're so, so good and filling and delicious. Like it tastes just like a blueberry muffin. So good. So I got that. I got my favorite potato chips. I got two beautiful looking avocados how beautiful do they look and then i'm craving watermelon so much for some reason so i just got that probably will snack on some watermelon and then hop in the shower and my dog is happy that i'm home it's beautiful outside but yeah all right y'all we're back from olive garden we got breadsticks oh they smell so good we got our fettuccine alfredo and then of course we got our salad this is awesome because then i'll have leftovers oh my gosh guys i'm so excited and then i'm gonna crack open a uh diet root beer like who am i but I'm going to eat this and watch Desperate Housewives and have the time of my life. Look how good this food looks. Oh my gosh. Good morning, everyone. It is now Sunday. I just got done making breakfast. I showered this morning, as you can tell by my wet hair, and it'll be interesting to see how my highlights look like when they're dry, but made myself coffee. I was really feeling warm coffee today, sometimes just in the mood. So good, and then I was inspired by Julia Christine for today's breakfast and it doesn't look as pretty as hers did but basically it is toast she used ricotta um i don't have ricotta so i just use cream cheese and then avocados an egg on top uh red pepper flakes and then honey drizzled on top so let's give this a try a taste test i'm kind of nervous i don't know how it's gonna be but let's try it i don't know which side Mmm. Okay. Wow. Mmm. That's different. It's good. Wow. I recommend. Yeah, that's actually really good. I'm also gonna have some watermelon on the side. And I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos, filled up my water, and then my boyfriend and I will celebrate our four year anniversary, which is really exciting. So, yeah, I'm wearing really comfy these sweatpants from Target, and this top is from Amazon. And I look pale as ever in this lighting. But I'm gonna finish the rest of my breakfast because it's really good and I'll talk to you guys later. Alright y'all, so I wanted to show you what uh, I'm putting together for my boyfriend for our anniversary. 
So I ordered him these like loafers on Amazon, but they're coming on Tuesday. But I did get him a couple of little things. I'm just gonna put in this bag because it's the only one I have. Um, and yesterday we went um, shopping and he picked out a handbag for me. Well, we picked it out, but he got it for me. So I'm gonna move stuff from my purse into that one. Oh, and I got this dress that I'm gonna wear. It's from Target. It was only $12. It's just this black, like, simple bodycon dress. I just thought this is a great staple to have, and I figured I'd wear it today because it is super comfy and soft. I got him this card that says, you're my person. I think it's super cute. I don't know. Yeah, it's just really, really cute. So I got him that. And then I got him, he really loves marshmallows, so I got him these toasted vanilla. I don't think he's had his flavor. I had this flavor. I got him like dark chocolate raspberry and then a peppermint one for the holidays, but I don't think he's had the toasted vanilla, so I got him that. And then mine and his favorite candy are these Nerds Gummy Clusters, which you guys should totally try them. They are so good. So I got these for him. And then the last thing is just some beef jerky because he loves beef jerky as well. So just a couple of little things that he can have. And then I'm going to write, fill out his card. But yeah, so I'll show you the handbag that he got me. And it's a Valentina made in Italy and it is beautiful like it is just oh i'm obsessed with it so this is what it looks like it is so pretty it's made with real leather and it has like these and then if you want to wear it as a shoulder bag it has that and i figured this would be a great like work bag or just a great bag and it goes with everything because it's like tan and gold and I can wear it all year round. And it's red on the inside, which I love that touch. I don't know. But yeah, there's a lot of like tissue paper inside of it. But that's what it looks like on the inside. So excited. I got to switch out my wallets and stuff. But yeah, because right now I have this wallet. But it's like so bulky. Like it just... So I'm going to go back to my Michael Kors wallet that's a little bit bigger but I feel like it goes with that. I like how everything has gold detailing so that it matches. But yeah, I'm going to put stuff in my new purse and I'm going to wear it out today. So we're going to go out for lunch and then I think we're going to um, go to this park. Um, that's really pretty because it's supposed to be a nice day. I mean, it's a little cloudy, but it's supposed to be like in the 70s So yeah, I'm gonna do that and then get ready and then we will go also This is my natural hair like look how like wavy it is. I don't even need to like curl it I think I'm just gonna put some like um, Moroccan oil for it to be a little more shiny and less frizzy, but I don't even, I'm not even going to do my hair because it's so wavy, you know, I love it. So yeah, I'm still not over my hair. I think it looks so cool. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to switch out my purse and start getting ready. All right, y'all, here is the fit. Here's the dress. It's really cute, really simple. I like how it's long and it's super comfortable. It's a little bit see-through, but I wore like um, spandex type things underneath. I don't know. It's just a really comfy dress. I'll link it below. Um, and then I'm just going to wear some sandals since we're just going to be doing walking. My hair is natural. I'm wearing these gold hoops from Target. NYX lipstick and for makeup I just did some BB cream, bronzer, blush, eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara and yeah and then I'm gonna have my bag so yeah.
from our little date and my boyfriend did give me some goodies which I'll show you guys so he did get me the the bag that I showed you but he also got me some snacks which is so cute he got me a little like coke coffee I gotta do this quick because my battery's running low got me these wisp parmesan hot cheeto puffs a cute card my dog just like sweet tart rope bites the popcorn jelly belly which is my fave <laughs> my dog sweet tart ropes and twigs so i'm all set i am so excited here's my dog and i think i'm gonna end the vlog off here because i'm just gonna relax for the rest of the day so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this weekend in my life and i'll catch you all in my next video bye guys